Thanks for your purchase. We value you as a customer and hope this video will help you use your new product safely and effectively. If you have any questions or problems with your product, please do not return it to the store. Call 1-800-828-5500 in the U.S. or 1-800-668-1238 in Canada for technical support. Carefully remove the cultivator from the box. Please read and follow all safety precautions as explained in your manual. Raise the handlebar by loosening the handlebar knobs on each side of the unit. Tilt the handlebar up until it is aligned with the lower part of the unit. Retighten the handlebar knobs to secure into place. Ensure none of the wires became obstructed or entangled during this process. Locate the wheel assembly. Remove the clip and pin from the bracket. Insert the wheel assembly, aligning the holes on the unit with the holes on the wheel assembly. Insert the pin and install the clip. Some units may have a different configuration with a spring-loaded pin. Be sure the locking pin has popped into place. The battery is not fully charged when shipped. To charge the battery, plug in the charger and insert the battery. The battery is properly inserted when the red charging light is lit. This light will turn green when the battery is fully charged and can take up to two hours. All the battery charge indicator lights should be lit when the battery is fully charged. The battery cannot be overcharged, so it is okay to leave the battery in the charger when not in use. To remove the battery, hold down on the battery latch and slide the battery off the charger. Install the battery by aligning it with the battery cavity. Push the battery in until it clicks, indicating it is locked in. Do not squeeze the throttle when installing the battery. To remove the battery, hold the latch down and pull it out of the battery cavity. If the unit is overloaded during heavy use, the battery will automatically shut off and the unit will stop running. Remove the battery and allow it to cool for a few minutes. Once cooled, the battery will reset itself. Reinsert the battery and the unit can be used again. To operate the unit, tilt the unit back slightly so the tines are not touching the ground. Hold the handlebar and squeeze the throttle control to start the tines turning. Firmly hold the handlebar with both hands and slowly tilt the unit forward so the tines can till the soil. To service the tines, remove the battery. Remove the click pins on the ends of the tine shafts. Remove the tines. Clean each tine and set aside. Remove dirt and debris from the shaft. Wipe and oil the shaft. Reinstall the tines on the unit. The hubs on the tines must face each other. Reinstall the click pin. Please read, understand, and follow your owner's manual to safely operate your unit. Thanks for watching this video. Visit the Troybuilt website for more information regarding attachments and accessories for your product. Other videos are available to help you set up, operate, and maintain your Troybuilt equipment.